Hi guys and welcome to another video. Um, it, it is a bit of a shame that this floppy, the 1541, um, with a disk um, inside already um, has been on my desk for a couple of years and I didn't have the chance so far to, or I was too lazy maybe to um, fix a cable in order to c connect this to my uh, Commodore 64 uh, so <laughs> I finally got a couple of DIN sockets the uh, 6 uh, pin DIN socket classic, the old school, the old type and um, a meter of uh, cable uh, with more than 6 uh, so I have to chop some off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, simply uh, solder uh, one DIN socket on one side of the cable, the other side of the cable will uh, hold the other uh, socket so I can finally connect my uh, floppy drive to my Commodore 64 and maybe hopefully I can see what is inside this disk. Uh, so let's um, start by saying that this cable needs of course six um, connections uh, so I'm going to chop some off uh, it is a serial cable that means that it's pin to pin and the data transfer is um, happening sequentially serial, serially that's how it used to be back then and then uh, the other side goes of course at the back of your Commodore 64 or my Commodore 64 I'm going to use my experimental model, my Commodore Stein 64. It is the one I am using um, for any experiments, uh, any tests, what I'm doing around the lab. So don't forget to um, tear the sockets apart, of course, before you do anything. You have to put the, uh, the cable through the plastic uh, cover of the socket on both sides. Otherwise, you have you you have to desolder and um, resolder again. So it is an important part. Don't forget to pass the cable through, as it is, like one side here, one side there, and then uh, we'll shall proceed with uh, soldering the wires, the six points, um, pin to pin. Of course, there is no color code for any of these connections. You pick your, the colors you wish uh, to use and chop off the rest of the remaining cables, if any. Um, take some scrap paper and maybe uh, put it in writing. Uh, don't forget to um, make the um, uh, the drawing, uh, putting the notch at the top the notch is uh, what helps you with the orientation. I pre oh, have already prepared um, the first one. Mark down the colors of uh, the pins um, and the way it, it is connected and absolutely the same connections are going to be made um, on the other side of the um, cable so it is actually a pin to pin connection. Alright, and the next thing um, to do is to put together around the connector the two um, parts of the metal shield or metal skirt that comes uh, with um, the as a part of the socket. The metal shield uh, has nothing to do with ground or anything, it just helps you with the orientation, um, but it has this special notch um, at the back of uh, the skirt so that you can tight together all cables so you don't accidentally pull uh, violently at some point the cable and um, destroy any connections so it is, it is very useful it comes uh, as very uh, useful uh, thing to do to pre uh, yeah just press it with some kind of tool and um, tight the cables together right there at the back of the connection. Um, put back the second part of the metal skirt around the socket and then finally all we have to do is to 
uh, bring uh, up front the uh, plastic cover and we're done with connection number one the same steps to be followed for connection number two on the other side of the cable and it should be looking like this in the end um, it doesn't of course make any difference which goes uh, onto the computer or the floppy drive because it's pin to pin again straight through cable same colors on each side and I think uh, three feet or a meter plus something uh, is uh, the best way to do it so you don't wanna make it very long you don't wanna make it uh, for sure uh, very short uh, I think it is convenient uh, about one meter plus something or yeah something like three feet um, and of course doesn't have again in and out uh, or any direction could be this side here on the computer the other side um, on the floppy or the other way around doesn't matter now for the moment of truth I have to admit I had to google the, the commands again uh, in order to uh, list the directory of the programs um, to be found onto the disk that came along with the uh, floppy drive uh, and I, as you can see we have Mrs. Pac-Man um, onto the disk um, I have connected the, um, the the serial cable at the back of my Commodore my Commodore Stein um, test machine um, and um, apparently the machine can uh, read the data from the floppy which means that the floppy drive works fine I'm happy with that um, at the se comment section I'm gonna put some useful commands because I couldn't remember at all uh, how it used to be in order for you to test if you want to test it uh, the on um, the power on LED indicator came up uh, connections made so our cable um, is working fine this particular model 15412 um, has an external power supply which was a uh, good thinking after all because it keeps the uh, drive cooler it was a silly thing uh, for me to do to try to load Mrs. Pacman that's the name of the volume uh, so <laughs> the file is not found uh, we have to run the PRG files instead one two three four five six is zero bytes which means that only the five PRGs are working or programs onto the disk are gonna be working and um, as far as I can think of or tell uh, those should be five different um, rounds of the game um, five rounds of Mrs. Pacman and uh, so here is my little cheat <laughs> sheet a very basic one um, for loading um, um, the uh, disk uh, contents and uh, we got the list of programs um, uh, comma 8 refers to the floppy as uh, default uh, I think it, it is point 0.1 refers to the tape so um, if you leave it like load without comma uh, identification like 8 uh, you'll get the press play on tape message uh, again we can see the contents is Mrs. Pacman with five um, active PRGs and one the sixth one is zero, um, zero with zero size so let's try to load one again comma eight um, as we wanted this to be from the floppy so it cannot get confused and now it's searching and loading let's see what this is I think um, yeah my idea is gonna be round one or stage one from Mrs. Pacman hopefully we can have it uh, in a while and we all got used to the speed of hard disks nowadays the drive is working so we're fine reading keep reading um, and yeah we, we we got used to the speed of hard disks so far I guess I believe after the 90s or so or the mid 90s 
uh, for the most part and we want them like uh, uh, the games is, is uh, loaded instantly or something well this is not the case this is not of course the fastest drive of that uh, time but it's uh, quite uh, impressive small size comparing uh, if you try to compare this to the previous model which was huge again because the power supply was uh, built in so this is a uh, the modern version of the 1541 the previous model uh, that's why it's called 2 and um, it saves your desk space but it keeps uh, loading like uh, forever uh, it's not of course like the tape so let's run it uh, I think we're ready to run it and see what was that program 1 after all run and yes it was yeah it is Mrs. Pac-Man so I guess I'm gonna have to do the same for program two, three, four, five, and check the rest of the stages. Um, but it's gonna be pretty much the same thing. So um, what I wanted uh, is really to uh, prepare the cable and test the drive, and I can call it a wrap. I wish I could have more games or more programs to show but I only have this one which came along with uh, Drive. I found uh, though a couple of uh, more disks and I tried to format them trying to uh, put the labels waiting for some titles uh, soon hopefully uh, then I can get some um, more programs and this is the cheat sheet for formatting the disk I have decided to break the commands uh, into three uh, parts open, uh, print um, the disk name which is labeled as disk and uh, close the session and save it like format so whenever I have to format a disk um, I can simply type format and in the meantime I have to swap the disks so I can put um, the new one in to get uh, formatted but otherwise I'm gonna be deleting the contents of the existing right so um, guys if you uh, have more ideas commands uh, how to uh, copy and uh, how to create uh, more uh, more things to do with this drive uh, or how you, you've been using still there are many uh, Commodore enthusiasts out there um, please share any knowledge, any commands, any ideas how to get the best out of this drive. For the time being, I'm going to be playing Mrs. Pac-Man only. <laughs> and I'm going to be looking over the internet for more uh, information. Hopefully I can get another floppy and um, try to copy from drive to drive. I don't know. Probably uh, I can assign a second floppy uh, as comma 9 device. Um, so thanks again for watching um, consider subscribing and uh, again don't forget to share any information any useful tips hints and tips um, how to get the best out of this drive any kind of information is highly appreciated so catch you later thanks again uh, bye